Yo guys, this is Bis Rugby, and news has just broken today that Eddie Jones has left Danny Cipriani out of his England training camp in Bristol. I'm going to go over why I think that's a massive mistake, so make sure to get involved in the comments down below, like the video, and subscribe as well. Let's get into this. Season so well for Gloucester over the weekend, played really, really well, and also, in my opinion, he's the best fly half, attacking fly half, that England currently have. He's 30 years old, a lot of issues have happened, but we're going to look at his playing style and why he fits into England's side. Now, his ability to get the ball well to the line of defence is incredible. He treads water really well, shifting across the defensive line. He runs across the field, turns in on defenders' shoulders. This then means that the supporting player can then hit that space, which allows the centres and the fullbacks to score tries. He also has a fantastic pass on him and an ability to pick the perfect pass in any situation in the game. And what he does so well is that when he receives the ball from the scrum half, is to miss the first defender and draw in the second. And when this happens, the space for others as he plays a quick pop pass through opens up. He hits them on the blind shoulder, he therefore becomes more of a threat on the outside channel and stretches the defence which gives gaps on the other channel. He is also a huge threat as a runner himself, he's quick, he's got a great sidestep and he's a great leader on the pitch in my opinion. So why has Eddie Jones left him out of the squad? Let's first of all chat a little bit about that. Well, recently, just this August, he was accused for an incident at a nightclub in St Helier. He was charged with common assault and he was fined by the Rugby Football Union. And that might have played into Eddie Jones' mind. That even after the incident in 2015, that he's still struggling with some issues now in 2018 and that Eddie Jones has decided to leave him out of the squad. But could there be a player issue that he's looked at other players and thought they are going to fit in? Myler's been included into the squad but there are two of the players who stick out but I think Cipriani could play with them. First up is Owen Farrell, a fantastic kicker of the ball to start with. He will kick over points for days for you and we've seen that with England that he can do that. He's a leader and versatile, can play centre and also fly half and is physically strong and able to carry the ball up to the defensive line. Doesn't mind getting hit and trying to break the defensive line and get over the gain line. Another player who is in his way possibly is George Ford who is currently at Leicester. Now George Ford is a very clever player in my opinion. Players recognise that he is a smaller player, he's smaller physically, he's not able to hold his own as Owen Farrell would or Danny Cipriani would. And therefore this means that the defence decides to do a blitz defence where one player targets George Ford. As we saw with Courtney Laws on the French fly half a few years ago, he runs out of the defensive line and hits him as he receives the ball. Now two things can happen as this happens. Either George Ford is smashed to smithereens by the, um, by the number five, or he receives the ball, evades the first defender, and his ability to beat defenders, to get past players, and to use quick footwork is something astonishing. And therefore, that means there's one less defender for him to beat, and that opens up the pitch. And their defensive team is in disarray because one player's out of position, and England or Leicester can attack from there. And Ford is one of the best players in the Premiership, in my opinion, at spotting opportunities. And he is super, super good with the ball in his hands. So what are my opinions on this? Where, what, what's gone wrong here? I personally would love to see Danny Cipriani play with Owen Farrell. Owen Farrell at 12, put Cipriani at 10, and you've got a perfect combination. I believe that with him in the squad, with Farrell alongside him, that England would be a force to be reckoned with. Does this mean that he's going to be left out of the Autumn Internationals? No. But this training camp gives you a big inclination about who's going to be there at that time. But should Danny Cipriani be in the squad? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again here on This Rugby.